Hello everybody, it's me, the Friendly Englishman. This is episode 20 of our Tower Rocks to Taliban campaign, carrying on from almost exactly where we left it. We've got a fight going up against Carl Franz. Just to say I have spent all my skill points and things uh, and then come back to the battle, so that's all I've done off screen. Um, let's dive on in. If you're watching this, thank you very much. I hope you are well. And I appreciate you taking the time to come down here to my very small but uh, friendly channel. This is, so far, an undefeated campaign uh, on episode 20. It's not bad. I think the Beastmen are probably one of the easier factions to do that with. But there's uh, something to be happy of, really. And um, befitting of the beast men who would revel in combat, I'm sure. So let's. Yeah, I think that looks good. See how they deploy before I charge on. Big man's over there. Let's. Uh, you know what? I'm going to split them up. Go over there. Oh, that should be control group two. Yeah, into there we go. Where's the shame, man? comes the big man himself they're gonna shoot him quite badly tower rocks into Carl Franz I think he's already beat him at this point I can't remember entirely Wizard almost died. Okay. What's going on here? I am not controlling very well. Let's try. Oh, they got some halberdiers there. Still shooting me. They are going to get some uh, fairly decent anti large on me there, but. break through. Oh, he's going to do it again. Okay, good. Oh, I knew it was going to be a fairly difficult assault, but I didn't realise it would be that nasty. Okay, definitely turning in my favour now, as long as I don't lose my wizard because I'm not paying attention. Uh, 
Okay. Things swinging in my favour. Tower Rock's enjoying himself. That was harder than I thought. <laughs> I'm a bit rusty though. Good, good, good. Just those spearmen there. Come on now. Here we go. What is holding out? Nothing over there, they've all gone. Hmm. I don't know why the surrender hasn't gone through. Obviously there's a unit somewhere. Causing me issues. I am taking damage from these towers the whole time, which isn't great. Where is it? Ah, no, no. Ah, there we go, there we go. A costly victory, but a victory nonetheless. Looking at the losses, it's not that bad. Damage on the shaman and the wolves. Those minotaurs have performed really well. No, no surprises there though. Um, tech replenishment to take a bit of a kicking there. Excuse me. Let's pop into a campment. Um, let me just double check. Who have we got left to kill? I forget. Nordland, which I'm guessing now. Ostland. So I do need to take Wolfenberg. And then the last one was Austin Mark over there so things are going pretty much how I would like them to yet yeah, we can go towards Middenheim might might even use him to take out the black pit as well we'll see okay now, who's got movement left? I can't remember. Nope. A little bit of movement there. Oh, no, we're just waiting. I remember we almost lost over here. I think I took on three stacks. Oh, where's this guy supposed to go? Into the... I remember, yeah. Okay, who's got some money to spend? Boom. Skill points I'll take care of later on. Let's actually get to the end turn. He 
Ikit Claw down in the south there. Still being chased by the forces of Marathi. Cool, she's uh, determined. Literally chased me across half the planet. Yeah, I will take peace now with Bellacourt. Oh, these confederations have been annoying. Although, has that just killed... Hang on, has that just knocked another one out of the game? Yeah, that just took Osland out of the game for me. Well, we might have to kill them all anyway <laughs> to get there. So this situation here is resolved. Oh, there's Boris. Can I get him? Not quite. Looks like we've got another turn to replenishment. This here, oh, Laurelorn Forest is no joke. Yeah, we're going to move up slowly here, get a little bit more recruitment on this gentleman and hopefully God, I need some heroes as well he definitely needs a gore ball let's see if I can recruit one no I need the wall gore so we'll wait there uh, he's got two turns sorry he's got one turn it's got dogs. Some armor piercing, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Heart Eater has got a cool army. We're going to set our sights on Dieter Scharfen. Raiding as we go. Tower Rocks. Not gonna get any money, so we'll stay hidden. Hexus Hellreek. Man, what a cool Nurgle Warriors of Chaos army. Delicious. I love the Warriors of Chaos. Iron Wall. <laughs> Here we go or not. Fight that guy outside the settlement. Oh, it's Carl Franz again! Oh, I did take some damage on a Jabber Slice. Because I lazily auto resolved that. But there you go. Cool. Here we go. Oh, please don't be a settlement. It shouldn't be. Yes. Open field. Open field with an army that will love just charging headlong into the enemy lines. Iron Ball has got four Jabba Slice, some decent infantry, great heroes. Okay. I'm going to forego Uh, Vanguard deployment and charge them all in a big lump. This guy should be healing. Yeah, he is. I think. We'll try to do it without turning this on. Yeah. Go through, yeah, it's actually do you want know, charge on in. Doesn't matter too much if they get shot. They will regenerate quite a lot. Yeah, 
Here we go. <laughs> I love this part of the beast man. Advance. Let's pull some of those into those back units. Devastating advance. What an army. Jabba's lives are a very good addition. They've been here a while, to be fair. <laughs> I think it's the first time I manually controlled this army, or it feels like it. Quite far away there. There we go. Not even here, optimized army. We still got we still got Ungor Spearhead in here. It would be nice to spend some time uh, fixing the roster for most of these armies, specialising them and things like that. But. It would take a lot of time. We're close to the end. I'm not in a rush. I'm not opposed to the idea of uh, taking this campaign a little bit longer. But when you can taste <laughs> taste the end of it, you know it's hard to give up the chase because we're flying towards the end of this campaign. Just three factions to destroy. Doomball, where are we going to go? Sorry, Iron Ball. Keep the pressure on there. Okay. Declare what? These guys. This is something that should have been picked up by in a patch, really. They should have declared war at me a long time ago. Um, better just fight that because this army is a little bit isolated I don't want to lose yeah the, the AI in my opinion should really close ranks you know, a massive doom uh, a massive beastmen invasion you know standing up against that sort of doom that kind of threat uh, it would be nice to see the Empire kind of bands together. They're a bit too far wide there. Uh, yeah. Pretty much just avoid the spears. Let the Ungors chop them up.
Slaughter. Nice. And again, another. And again, it was not really a fair, a uh, a fair test of this army. That, but I don't think we lost many models there at all. Just the three individuals. Yeah, swordsmen are so awful. <laughs> They're so awful. I do think the garrisons should be better at this stage or something like that. Feels a bit easy. Yeah, let's chuck down a herdstone. Why not? It does let me potentially recruit some better stuff. Okay. Yeah, Tower Ox definitely can't move. Who's this? As a hero. Joining Rat Boot. Okay. Is he alright down there? Yes, he is. He's about to get some giants. Um, you can only recruit two. Oh, he's recruiting giants. Oh, that's a shame. I was going to try and swap out some units there. His army's a little bit meh. Okay, we've got this situation here where we almost, almost lost an army and ruined the campaign by suffering a single defeat. Okay. Whew. Has this guy already got the... Yeah, defeated Balthazar girl. So if I attack with Goros here and bring the other army up... I'm at war with these people anyway. So we're going to get... Another defeat trait for killing Balthazar Gelt here. Um... I'm going to auto that and be lazy. Yeah, it did take quite a bit of damage. That's acceptable. Okay, so he's also got the defeat trait for Balthasar Gelt, which is a really good one. Plus six armor for the whole army is very nice. Yeah. Uh, pretty, <laughs> pretty good. Keep these two close at the moment. Have we got any other movement to take? Oh, yeah, this guy is supposed to be in Warmaker's army. Who was that? That's a shaman. Who's that? Okay, we've got Ram, Half Mind. Ah, we've got to take care of Helmgar. Yeah. I do remember, sadly. Sure. 
so we'll just raid that. We'll wait there. Okay, we've got some money to spend. Iron Ball. Has he got... Yeah. It's making sure that everyone's got... Vile Entropy is amazing. And we could potentially grab a couple more Shamans. Didn't even use any of these. <laughs> the legendary heroes. I know that. I um, just want to save them for another time. Well, I guess another Gorble and a Shaman, really. So he's got a Shaman there, actually. Gorble. Who is the lowest on heroes just before I spend all my points here? Is it just him? Yeah, he's the last one. I think he's the last army I'm going to um, bring through as well. Okay, so we need a war gore. Oh, couldn't quite afford. I'd rather get the gore ball. Take the tough. Okay. Skill points we take care of another time. It's just a garrison, yeah, no worries. Chasing me across the ends of the earth. Yeah, I will start taking peace treaties and things now. That's fine. Right then. So what happened there? She took back yeah this. Look at the dark elves go. And Vampire Coast. <laughs> oh. Sisters to Twilight holding on. Somehow. Fair play to them. Oh, there's Vlad. Oh, we've got to take Castle Temple off. Hopefully they lose that in a second to Vlad. I don't really want to have to fight Vlad. He is a monster. Okay, let's get up here. Better fight it just to be safe. And it will also be kind of fun to crush some people nice and easily. I hope you get some close up look at the Jabber Life. Not a new unit, uh, not a new unit at all. It's been out for some time, but. Be nice to have a look. I'm sure they got some archers. I'm gonna. 
I'm going to guess there. Probably wasteful. I did get somebody, look. Okay, Doggo is arriving on the scene. Crashing in. Alright, what's this Jabba's life doing? Kicking some butt. It does look great. No, no questions there for me. Very good. Not sure the flaming banner is the best weapon for that, thinking about it, but at the moment I can afford to be a little bit slapdash. Do I want to join a war with these people? They are right there. I mean, Warmaker can... How strong are these dwarves? They're at war with Vlad as well, who could be a potential ally. <laughs> Let's kill these dwarves. What are they thinking? Charging into our territory like that. In force march. Get that Jabba's life down there. That went about as well as could be hoped, I think. <laughs> nice assault. Balls. So good.
Nice. What they got left? Some slayers, probably, yeah. Allies didn't even get the time to come in. There you go. Shouldn't regret that. They're not uh, very powerful. Karak Kadrin at the moment. It could potentially put Vlad towards being our uh, ally which will help speed up the end of this little campaign don't particularly want to have to play whack-a-mole and come back and get any other settlements or anything like that okay could go and get Temple off. Let's have a look what we got. Nothing. Rock in with a cheeky auto resolve. Um, and hopefully run back the way I want. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> All the way back there. There you go. I think that's the Empire. Ah, oh, what they got down there? Carrig. I didn't see that. Well, we'll keep them together. There's a chance this is going to get taken from them anyway. Well, maybe not, actually. Not with their allies all around it. Right, we are going to have to go and take that. Carrig Dramar. Next up. Carl Franz just will not die. Um, so with those two coming back down south, I think it might make sense to send Iron Ball East here to work bad. Raiding. I can probably deal with that. Um, it's not a terrible garrison. It's not that scary. 11. It's pretty much a full stack going against... And it's an okay army. We should win this. Moderate losses, perhaps. I think the uh, no, I'm not sure exactly what Light Strike's going to do there, so we'll leave it off. I've got Vile Entropy. I haven't got. I haven't got any of the Shatter Stone, but we've had a few easy fights. Let's have a more challenging one now as we go up against or Nordland in the Battle of Salzenmund. They've got some good units. The artillery is going to be a pain. Uh, oh, it's one of the worst casters as well. It's the Law of Death. Oh, is it? I might be wrong. The Gorgon is going to do a lot of work here. No, I correct it is death, yeah. Hopefully if we storm the walls here it'll be enough. To make the AI retreat like that. We have got Shatterstone. Oh, 
I thought we might. I can get both the mortars there. We're in, we're in there, guys, we're in. Nice. Uh, we've got Purple Sun. Probably going to do nothing. Oh, or not. It bounced around off the walls actually that was uh, that was pretty nice in we go Didn't do too badly again. Oh! They nearly killed the Lord. Let's get him out. Not nice. That's the end of their cannons. Not bad. There goes their lord. Let's bring him over here for his leadership bonus. Some people are getting slaughtered over here. And charge into them for sure. Get the monitor over there. Get that gorgon into those pistoliers. Up the corridor there. Yeah, not too bad. Purple Sun actually doing quite a lot of work for once. These corridors do help. Because it can only go in certain areas. Nice. Well, there you have it. Purple Sun, actually very useful. The Shaman, 232 kills. Yeah, and just the infantry being exposed, because it's just not heavy enough for those sort of assaults. It should be best to cause by now. The next time I play the Beastman, I'm going to be a lot more uh, thorough in my upgrade approach and things like that and how I build the armies I think yeah getting sh making sure pretty much every army has got four best of gore would be great very expensive things like that okay Have they got any more settlements left, Nordland? No. 
There's Nordland gone. Oh, wrong button. Excuse me. Yeah, it's just Reichland. Tarox is about to take this out. Yeah, just to speed things along. I don't know what they've got left. Can't be a lot. Back this way, we've got Laurelon falling now. Okay, circle that. I do see his little Doom Ball front a Gore Ball. <laughs> I'm always getting those mixed up. Terrible. Back him up there. Cool. Oh, there are some places over here. Yeah, we're very much into the cleaning up stage of this. Let's just finish the movement over here before I get distracted. Am I going to have to kill Festus? Possible. I'd rather avoid him if I can, so in fact that's what I will do now. Let's get away from him if we can. Okay. He's moved there. We've got this one here to take care of. Let's bring up some support again. take that just speeding through a little bit here good is that the movement taken care of for this turn looks it just making sure everyone's got vile entropy and the other one <laughs> I forget the name of okay this guy's got nothing I'm going to buy something. Some of these are pretty strong. Oh, that's crazy. Plus 40 melee attack, 50% assigned minus strength. Cool. Let's grab armor, water. Let's try this champion's essence. Oh, there are multiples as well. I can buy as many of them as I want. Well, I'll buy three of them then. And we're going to put them on. Um. Tower Rocks has got the Talisman. Yeah, I'd rather have that. You can have that. You can have that. And so can you. There we go. I'm not going to spend ages <laughs> down that rabbit hole. 
Okay, I think as everyone's moved, I spent loads of money. We end the turn. Oh, Legion of Chaos. The Ice Core are powerful. Did you see that? Man, some of the uh, enemy factions are catching me up in the balance of power. That's terrifying. It's the Dark Moon as well. Uh, I could do with a bit of movement at the moment, and have I forgotten to... No, I thought I forgot to move there. Right. Annoyingly, we've got to run these two down here. We're going to keep them together. We're going to stop for a spot of lunch at Vertbad. Do I need to fight this? Got to be careful. What we got nearby? Nothing. No, we can all say that. Maybe, oh, maybe I should have done the herdstone there. Would have given me. Actually, you know what? Good. Change my mind. <laughs> because. Oh, I quite haven't got quite got the money there. Good. Iron balls there. Let's go. Along here. Keep going. Festus, the Leech Lord, the Leech Lord. <laughs> I've not seen that mistake before. Little glitch. Don't really want to go to war with him. Good. Alleying ourselves. Look at that. We went from uh, hated enemies. No, I'm not going to bother with that. The Legion of Chaos, strength rank 14. Good, that's some very crude alliances there, but they're going to let me run across his lands now, which is nice, thank you. Tower Rocks. I mean, we've got him to get, we've got to get him to Talibheim, right? I mean, he's, we can cut across. on the way to... I think he needs to come over here. I imagine there's going to be more resistance there. These two... Pretty much there, aren't we? We are pretty much done. Let's just bring everybody over. Poor Ryan took a bit of a beating there. Doesn't matter because it's the blood moon. Um, what does he buff? He does actually buff these, doesn't he? Beast Lord's Lash. Harpies. 
Razor Gore herd and stuff like that. Tuscal chariots. Just do that. Let's make sure everyone's army is full. Yeah. Kislev, or should I say Katarina, is putting up a good defence. How strong are they? Let's have a look. Okay. They're not bad, you know. Strength, strength, eight. Nowhere near as powerful as me. They've obviously just taken a couple of losses. Then they are up against it tremendously. Oh, they've got to go around there. Okay. Why not? Better just merely fight this one just quickly. Uh, Carl Franz is floating nearby. The enemy sallies out to fight on the field. In the Battle of Needling, how long will they survive? Could potentially kill them in less than a minute, I am sure. Annoying hedge placement. <laughs> pull these guys to the right as much as possible into them to them they've got no <laughs> only one unit of spearmen which I'll just ignore At time of recording, I am about to move to a brand new legendary lord for me, and the new Kislev lord, Grandmother Ostenka. I'm excited about that. This army is, is fun playing this. Uh, very aggressive, charging and smashing the enemy in the face, but it does get a little bit repetitive, I must say. I should have perhaps really focused on the Lords making them more unique. That's, that's something to keep in mind for the next long campaign, which will be, as I just said, Kislev playing as Grandmother Ostjenka going up against, uh, have set themselves the mighty challenge of destroying all of Chaos. Yeah, 
Oh no way, can he reach? He can. Probably should have fought that one as well. <laughs> He's just running around like an absolute nutter. Okay, uh, Carl Franz is back, and all he's got is uh, regiments of renown. Can I get him? Oh, might as well. Three battles with Iron Ball there. Oh, he's going to retreat. I don't think I can get him from there. No. Nice. Balfasar, go. Eagle of the Ice. Two big empire armies for us to deal with. Hey, Talrox is almost at Talibheim. Although Talipheim is a smouldering ruin. I think that's all the movement. How are we doing for time? Just coming up over an hour. I got a little bit longer. I don't know why it showed me that over there. There's Azazel. There is Daniel, <laughs> the demon of chaos. Demons of chaos. Okay, I'm going to fight this. Don't really want to lose any units. Wasn't really expecting him to attack me. It should be fine. Focus Carl Franz with most things. Send the Jabberslives in. Try not to lose any of these damage units of troops, although they are rubbish. Here we go. Debuff that horrible cannon. Send them into them. Send them into the, they are the anti large, yeah they are. Into there, into that. Yeah, that's all she wrote, really. Shame I can't debuff Carl anymore. Javis lives pretty nasty. And it's just a case of killing Carl, really. Try and chase this down. No, no. 
Fair play to Carl. Did a bit, of, fair bit of damage. There we go. That'll do. Not too shabby at all. Nine losses. Most of those coming from the flagellants. Quite a bit of damage on the heroes. But that's the Emperor for you. Okay. We'll just take care of this. Chucking down a herdstone there. Um Oh, there's another one there, Oaken Hammer. Okay, well We'll take care of that as well. How have they got left? They had quite a few last time I looked. They've got two left. Well, they're about to lose that. We, You know what? I'm going to keep on going because I think uh, we're going to get to the end of the campaign here. Right, let's... Keep on pushing. Tarox is actually going to make it to Telebheim for once. Well, so for once, did make it. Cool. Hopefully, we can get to Kappelberg and take that last settlement. Is that all I've got left to do? Yeah, oh, Ostermark as well. Uh, maybe not then. Cool, then that suits. That means the next episode will be uh, a reasonable size. So I will stop here. And this is definitely the penultimate episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And I look forward to speaking to you all again very soon. Take care and goodbye.